Welcome back to Reptiles of Folly. I am Ollie. Right now, we are in um, Lake Catherine State Park, um, and we are in South Central State Park, according to my mother. And we just um, bought um, a inflatable kayak yesterday, so we are just going to film and film um, and talk about reptiles. We probably have um, copperheads, cottonmouths, and uh, maybe a few non-venomous, mostly venomous. So that's why I am sort of nerve-wracked. I do not feel safe out here, not one bit. We already thought, we want, before we started filming, we thought we saw a snake. Um, it looked like a copperhead, so I'm just going to keep my eye out, and it was like around that log over there. I'm going to tell you how to tell the difference in North America between venomous and non-venomous snakes. In North America, usually venomous snakes have a head that's shaped like a triangle, and non-venomous usually have a head that's shaped like an oval so usually when if you see a head that's shaped like a triangle you know to keep about um, a good distance about uh, four feet um, or as depending on the size of the snake depending on the size of the snake that's how far you should stay back and if you see a snake in the water then the snakes cannot go underwater, uh, but non-venomous snakes can go underwater. So if you don't see that venomous snake, go, you do not see that snake go underwater, is venomous. Most people ask me, what's the difference be, what's the, what's the difference between poison and venom? So venom has to be injected. Poison has to be um, digested. So like. Poison, you have to eat it for you to for it to work, or like drink it. But venom, um, you could basically just put venom in a shot, and that'll work. It venom just has to be like injected through a puncture wound, and that is basically the difference between um, venom and poison. If you don't know your snakes, and you're taking a forest hike. Bring a nature guide. Just bring a nature guidebook or bring a actual nature guide to, to to tell you the different types of snakes. Okay? So that's like the safest thing to do, okay? So and in Australia the most deadly snakes in the world live there. So just don't touch any snakes at all. Don't touch any snakes at all unless you really, really know your snakes. If you like this video, click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the notification bell up there. And also, if you have any ideas for more videos, um, you could write a comment to us. Thanks for watching Reptiles with Folly. See you next time, bye. I would also think there would be some orb weaver spiders. Um, we already found one orb weaver, orb weaver web. Say that five times fast. No, I'm not saying that, Mom. Sorry, I just wrote, um, I need to hear better because I was like, what?